Hello everyone, Transport Enthusiast here, and welcome back to Tram Sim. It's Friday, and we all know what that means. That's right, it's the latest Tram Sim update. At this point we're in update 7, which is Tram Sim patch version 1.0.7. And today, I'm going to be talking about and testing what's been added in this new update. So first of all, the much anticipated IBIS system has been implemented into the game. So what that means is now you can cu customise this display here, and as well, they've reduced the level for the points. But before we get into that, I'm just going to start up our game. So we're going to do a career mode, a timetable mode. That looks fine. I'm just going to go start. Okay, okay. So now I have the Discord open here. So this is all official and what's been added. So basically the main feature of this update... Oh, jeez, that was a charm. So I was like, what the hell was that crap bang? <laughs> I was like, Jesus. Yeah, I'm not sure if you just heard that bang. It's always my computer for a second. So okay, it's a game. Never mind. So anyway... Uh, so in patch version 1.0.7, uh, the main feature is the IBIS system. So if we go up here and we scroll down here, you can see this here is our IBIS. And now we are able to change it. So as you can see here, you can actually click it. So if we click to loosh, this erases it. If we go to teal, you can change the teal. So if we take a look outside, sorry, it's been a while. Now it's showing Prater hopefully. We go back into our cab, we zoom back in, and then let's say we click teal again. Change. Okay, well, as you can see, it's wor uh -huh, there we go. So now, if you look at it again, sorry, <coughs> as you can see, I'm a bit Liebe of a new here. Fahrgäste, bitte tragen Sie einen mund nasen in U-Bahn-Stationen. Oh, this is one of the announcements. Okay, so do bear with me here for a second as I figure this out. I did look at the tutorial, so if you look here, and if you go into tutorials, and then if you go into uh, gameplay. No, 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 that's not it. If you go into um, controls, it kind of tells you how to do it. Sorry. It's being a bit blaggy today. If you go into controls, go into general controls. Now we're going to the flex city, which is our tram. Nope, that's not it either. I've already forgotten where it was. Nope, that's not it. Bye. I don't need you. Zachary Transport, hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> uh, as you can see, I'm very prepared here. Not a general help. There we go. So IT, so the ITSC, this is your uh, this is your IBIS. So the ITCS is your Integrated Onboard Information System. So here you can change stuff. So you have Ant Sagan. These are special announcements. Then you can have your special announcements key. So it's these two: Ant Tour, Ant MMS. And then Lush button. Each announcement can be cancelled. That's just cancelled and seal. So this can be selected, and this will automatically. Aha. Uh -huh, okay. This changes your route. Zizi, hello, hello, welcome back. Where have you been? Haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> I thought you made a runner for it. Glad to see you back, Zizi. Welcome back. Unfortunately, I couldn't get Del Pass to work, uh, even though I saw it has a tram, which looks interesting. That's it's a shame, but... So as you can see, we can change these, and now, for instance, we click car off paths, and we click this, and then... There we go. I think that should fix it. As you can see, now it shows car off paths. So, this is a pretty cool feature. basically just allows you now to customise your tram. So, obviously... Where are we going? We are going to Sonderzug. There you go. This is out of service. So if you click Eing, there you go. Out of service. So as you can see, the IBIS now is uh, customizable, which is pretty cool. And uh, thankfully, they haven't done the same thing with the VOD. We have to get, gain certain TSP. You can change this yourself. So, uh, happy birthday. Ah, there we go. Let's see. Happy birthday. Anyone got a birthday today? Happy birthday. I am good. I'm good. Uh, I'm always good, you know me. Can't complain. So there you go, those are some of the cool displays. Well, anyway, let's let's put it back to our route. I think we're going to Hauptelis, uh, so if we go to Teal, let's change that back. Was it Stefan Fadinger plots? There we go. Okay, now everything should be fine. And let's just take a look at some of the announcements. So, Liebe Fahrgäste, bitte tragen Sie einen mund nasenschutz in U-Bahn-Stationen sowie in Fahrzeugen. Liebe Fahrgäste, Sie verzögern die Abfahrt. Bitte halten Sie den Türbereich frei. So, there you go. As you can see, we have some cool announcements we can play as well. So, that's the IBIS system, basically. The other feature is, is if we take a look, um, if we get out of the, our seat for a second, this here is where the track switch rods comes in. So, at the moment, you can see I am on 4,533 TSP. Once you get to level 2, which is... Uh, which is... Um, 5,000 TSP, then you can also get the rod. It used to be 10,000 P from or patch version 1.0.6, but I think since people were complaining, including myself, 
they have reduced it. So this should be fairly easy if you got the free 4,000 points, which most of you would have gotten, including myself. Some of you may have not gotten it, which is obviously a bit of an issue. Uh, Zachary's transport. Well, really nobody has used General VC in the Discord yet. Maybe nobody wants to use it, really. <laughs> the, oh yeah, the voice channel. I mean, yeah, I don't like using the voice channel either, not gonna lie. <laughs> the only reason I have it there is because it's there by default. Yeah, I mean, look. It's no big loss, no big loss. Now, where is our thing? So basically, I think the maximum you can get is 250, because you can, the maximum you can get is 10, 10 uh, TSP for a stop. I think there's 25 stops. So, yeah. But open. Why is this not open? Oh, oh. There we go. What time are we meant to leave out? Or you should look at the timetable. This is the update they've added is you can now see your thing here. This is kind of annoying me though, so I need to change this. Uh settings. Uh controls. Nope. Oh, why is this so pixelated? Gameplay. How can I TSP insert? Will this hide the thing? Not for flip's sake, that's not it. Uh, nope. How can I hide the TSP insert? I don't want that. Oh, profile window, maybe. There we go. There we go. Okay, problem solved. Oh well, I like using a video, don't know why. Okay, yeah, because that's the thing. I don't know many like public servers that have it. That's, that's why I kind of never used it myself, because. Uh, yeah, that's the thing. I mean, I don't know if other people want to use it. It's kind of handy if you have like multiplayer, something multiplayer going on. That would be handy then to use it. Must try it sometime, yeah. I don't know, is that, you have uh, Z BCS, don't you, Zachary? You can get a BCS going, <laughs> I guess. Okay, I don't know why there's no passengers, so anyway, it is what it is. Let's get out of here. I think if you do speeding, then it's going to take away TSP, so if you try to stay below 50 kilometers an hour, hopefully that will give us more TSP. I forget this is not like OMC2, and OMC2 if you go into the exterior view, you can still hear the, um, you can still hear the announcement somewhat. Where's the passengers? It's very quiet at the end of the day. Oh, oh, we missed it. Oh, what, what the hell happened there? Is she gonna go on a tram? Yes, yeah, she is, okay. God, so the one that's going empty. You're a funny man, Carl H, aren't you? Yeah, no, I completely agree with this. This game is very expensive. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't actually get this game uh, from Steam. I got it on CD keys and it was 18 years ago. Of half price. Like, usually I don't go for like, uh, to use these sites. But, to be honest, uh, I was like, not worth it. So that's why I gave it a negative review on Steam. But it's, yeah, 30, it's not worth 36 euro. It's, it's very expensive. It's, it's more expensive than most simulators. And you know, the argument offers the least. So, yeah. But you can get it on CD keys. Or uh, instant gaming, and it's 18 quid there, so it's much cheaper. Yeah, but I agree with you, yeah. It's a nice game, but it's a bit, to be honest, like once you do it a few times, it kind of, uh, it kind of gets repetitive. But yeah. That's the thing. But yeah, that's the, I, I think it's gonna get more interesting when the new updates come out, but you know. Yeah, I agree with you, it is very expensive, it's definitely overpriced. <laughs> Let's play one of our special announcements. Wait, is this how you stop? Like, literally, look at this chap, you stop. <laughs> it's like once I, I think this is like one of those insurance tricks. They just want to take, like, clip the car so that way they can pay him off the insurance and they can. Uh, Oh, you can't hear me? Okay, sorry. I thought... Yeah, this is... Let me put this down. Actually, now you can... That's another thing they've added. 
now you can adjust the audio so master volume I forgot about this so this wasn't possible before so this is another thing they've added in the update is the uh, volume so now you can reduce the volume so what this means is that if you do, like if you're a youtuber or if you do videos you can actually turn down the volume because it's often hard to record it's often hard to record when um when the volume is very high hopefully it's better now I'm, i think i fixed it now like, thanks for pointing that out to me by the way i hope it's not too low now if it's too low let me know and i'll just let This is the thing with other games, it's like if you go down to the very lowest, like an opposite, you can still hear the game fine. With this, it's a bit of a struggle. Okay, I think I need to bump up the master volume just a tad bit. Yeah, no, also I said yesterday there's not going to be any streams until Wednesday, but this came out and yeah, probably this will be like a last chance to stream for like two weeks anyway. So this one also comes out. I'm just, uh, London comes out. It's gonna be all about London. Let's just bump up our audio a bit. I think that should do it. About 50%. Gonna be very precise. Can you use the arrow keys? No, you can't. Damn it. Environment volume 50%. Uh, Okie dokie 50%. 50%. And there we go. Safe changes. So as you can see, the game is slowly getting better. I think it was, that's the thing, it was full release, but um, when they said it was full release, let's be honest, uh, there's a lot of bugs, and like there's a lot of features missing, like editing the sound, the ibis, the rods, so they've added all that in, so now it's like, slight, now it's better, so now it's more like a proper game. Because to be honest, when it was first released, I thought it was really like early access. If we are, it's going to be fair. As you can see, my driving is actually quite good today, not gonna lie. We haven't been speeding, we haven't been, well, oh, as I say that, we're going over the speed limit. Yeah, so that's the thing, we need 500 TSP until we can lock the rod, uh, which allows you to switch the tracks. So now in the underground section, so we probably should play that announcement here. There you go. This is like a U-Bahn station. It's underground. 10 TSP. Perfect stop. Let's take a look how it looks on the outside. There you go. Just less than a meter away. Sounds really empty today. Yeah, well, user was standing around too long. This show me got all day. Yeah, so I think next in this game is going to be the old trams. We're going to add in the E2 trams, the classic Vienna old E2 trams. And then that's going to be as AI first and as drivable. It's going to be unlockable, so they're doing this TSP system, which is a bit annoying because initially you need to be level 3 to unlock the rod. That's like, that's a ridiculous amount of TSP points to expect someone to acquire. Because I think the maximum you can earn is like 250 per shift, so that's, that's over like 10 hours of gameplay. Which is preposterous. I know some people are saying on the Discord that they actually enjoy playing this for like hours on end, but I don't know how. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry to say, but this is a. Uh, it's just you know. It's too. It's too repetitive. Yeah, sadly the game isn't an Xbox Game Pass. List. Oh yeah, the Xbox Game Pass. Do you have that yourself, Yeah. Uh, I don't know. The Xbox Game Pass. I think it's not bad, but it's kind of like the mix of games. Like is a bit. In other words. Very hit and miss, very random. Because, uh, yeah. Uh, because that's the thing, uh, how's Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020? Do you play that? That's a great game, but. See, I only had the Xbox Game Pass for one because I only did it for the one year, I think, so I could play uh, MFS 2020 when it came out. But then after that, there's not really any games that I particularly liked yet. They had a uh, Chain Sim World, but. Eh, not a fan. But yeah. But that's the thing, this game will get cheaper uh, eventually, like it will go on sale, and to be honest, uh, I don't know, sales seem to be going better than expected, they have over 300 reviews, so I think generally review-wise about like 10%, 5% of people review the game, so by that we can estimate roughly that about 3,000 to, um, 
of, from 3,000 to 6,000 people own the game. But then, how much of that money goes to the developers? Oh, is another question because, as you all know, Steam takes 30% of the sales. I think Eversoft takes 20%. That's my guess. And then, so, you know, at least it was 50%, so at least I'm 18 quid something. Are oh, you gonna make so many pets? No worries, no worries. Multitasking, that's the way to go. I always multitask. Absolutely, I don't blame you. Oh, what reprints are you making for OMC? I'm guessing they're for your map, for the map you're making. Uh, what bus are you, what bus are you uh, doing the repaints on? Okay, now we need to slow down a bit too fast. Oh, we need to stop, and I think we're fine. Ah, beer market. A good old organic food market. Yeah, they claim this is the most uh, ultra, it's most realistic. Uh, they claim this is the most realistic uh, urban transport simulator. It's a couple of points, like, it is very nice, graphically wise, not gonna lie. Some people say it's like a standard for uh, Unreal Engine 4, which is actually made by Epic Games, interestingly enough. Yeah, Fortnite makers. I think Fortnite uses UE4, but people think UE4 requires a heavy GPU, but then UE, uh, Fortnite doesn't, so I don't know. I'm actually getting very good with the driving, even though I have no practice. Ah, it's not for my but ah, okay, fair enough. Yeah, actually, uh, on the option too, now, they see that Studio Polygon is also, uh, they said they're London ready, so they basically have the repaints ready for uh, out on London, and then also Master Switch Studios are making some for the, 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 the oh, what do you call that one? The Street Deck. I really need to learn how to do repaints, like, that's the thing, because there are a few cool repaints I'd like to do, mainly with, like, AOAs, which is all over wraps and, like, that kind of thing. But, I don't know. It's too much time investment, so. Do you use paint for yours or Photoshop? I keep doing this, obviously, doing the cause it's going to jump in front of me. I think they updated some of the lights, so I was meant to read out what the updates are. So I might just quickly take a look here once we stop this stop. Yeah, so we have. Yes, yeah, so it's just mainly fixing some traffic lights and junctions and all that jazz. But again, if you just want to see like a de more in-depth overview, you can always join the Discord. They post all this info about obviously to Trump Sim, all this news on the Discord. So if you join there, you can find all the links there. Obviously, all this information is on the Trump Sim Discord as well and on the Trump Sim Steam page. But yeah, they're working like full time on this game as well, interestingly enough. So it's like five days a week. A lot of work goes into it. Paula but like, I think it's fair enough because to be honest, they have been doing this only for a year. So like, they've been very productive because like most of these like simulators, they take two, three, four years to make. Because I know that's like the story with Flight Simulator, with the bus, with Bus World, all that. So yeah. This has been very quick, only one year, because like, they were the devs with Lotus. Like, they were doing an add-on for Lotus, and then they made this in a year's time. Or maybe they are working on it longer, but like, no one just knew about it. Who knows. It'd be nice to have some cyclists going around here, but ah well. Okay. The tessellation of the buildings there, they, this seems a bit out of place, it doesn't seem to be aligned properly. That's just not be my opinion, but... What's up with these doors there? Is that? It looks like those passengers are like just sliding or skidding along the footpath as you do. Ah, little, good old little. Well. Yeah, there's no point in stopping at that signal. Davis Transport Videos, hello, hello, welcome to the stream. How are you today? Oh, shoot. Okay, now we're running a bit early. I was thinking, on the Discord, I don't think any of you have this game. Because no one's posting information about this, but no one else seems to really... Uh, say anything about it. 
Okay. We're running early. That should have... What? I just... Why did that not work? That's not fixed, then. never mind. I was hoping the charm would get out of the way. Because we need to get a TSP. We can only get a TSP if he moves. Or she moves. What charm are we actually? That's 3 or 4. We're 3 or 1 probably. Oh yeah. Wait, what are you all doing here? There's literally a charm in front of me. You all decided to get on this charm. It's not like this is a different model or anything. This one's newer. They probably think I'm a better driver. <laughs> oh, they're in for a shocking surprise. 5 TSP? Are you joking me? We stopped literally on the dot. Yeah, good. Okay, that's good. You're fine. That's what I like to hear. Yeah, I don't know what this flashing triangle is all about. Probably should stop here, but... Yeah, we have to now. Don't worry, I'll let you through. That is going to turn for a second. Oh, whoa. <laughs> oh, is that a Fiat Punto? No, it's not. <laughs> it looks like it's on the edge. Okay, perfect. We can go. We could have the mouse thing on this because I think like it'd be perfect for because like obviously there's a lever you push back and forward which you can kind of simulate with a mouse. Probably be a bit more suitable than a keyboard perhaps. Hmm. Something we consider. U2, U4, U4A. They did change the announcements. I don't remember it being this order before. Whoa, what is this? There's your uh, trumps and bugs. Okay. Let's go give her uh, out to her. Um, you okay there? Is this meant to be some kind of a uh, street performance? I mean, what is the. In I know you're using invisible string to float like that. But your look, it's good for the funny moments. I think there's no charms about now. Um, oi. Off you go now. Do your street performance uh, somewhere you're not causing havoc. Oh, I can walk through you. Maybe it was just a hallucination. Anyhow. I was hoping we'd get TSP uh, by stopping there, but no luck. Oper, Karlsplatz. Umsteigen zu U1, U2, U4, D2. 
Burgring. Umsteigen zu 57a. Ja, yeah, so. Actually, one thing they've added in that you may have not have noticed is now they added in the sound. So when you turn, you can actually hear the um, basically the rails. Kind of, like you know that sound is kind of like the doof to doof when it's crossing other tracks. It's crossing other rails. I don't know how to describe it, but I think you know what I mean. So when there's other tracks, they added in that sound, so it makes it more realistic. You'll know what I mean if you ever go over a uh, tram crossing with a tram. You'll hear that kind of a very loud metal clacking noise. I'll point out to you once we pass one of the places where that happens. Yeah, sorry for my great description. <laughs> and is the thing, like, you don't realize how long it takes me to do this properly. Ring, Volkstheater, umsteigen zu U3, 46, 49, 48 A. Parliament. So hello, there we are. We're back on the mic now. Uh, this is the good thing with the trams. Uh, you can just leave them unattended as I have. So I'll just put that in there. Yeah, so sorry about that. There's AFK there, so that's why the tram is going so slow. They just literally left it to run by itself. Don't think we got TSP there, because I kind of just... Uh, just noticed that our tram was <laughs> strolling along as I dash back, make sure nothing bad happens. So now, you're going to see what I mean. So when we pass here, just listen. You hear that sound? That to do? So that's basically, they have added in that sound. So when you cross tram crossings where the rails intersect, there's some sort of intersection with the rails, they've added in that sound. Which is a very nice feature, because that's how it is in real life. From a friend of you that I've traveled on tram. It's a nice little addition, and to be honest, it's not a hard sound to acquire. Sure, you can even acquire it off YouTube. But yeah, this game is slowly coming be becoming better and better. All these updates are slowly making the game, you know, more enjoyable. They're adding in all those cool extra features, and it's slowly becoming a very good uh, chance to later. Albeit still extortion of price if you buy it off Steam. Now, we are very right again. We shall continue. But yeah, hello to uh, Temp Reeves. Welcome to the stream. Uh, sorry about that. Yeah, sorry about that. As they're muted for a few seconds. Okay, so let's continue onwards. There's your uh, Pride Crosswalk. Remember those from the Simpsons Tap Tap as well? 
Will you be on at Sunday? I generally don't stream on Sunday, so I doubt I'll be streaming this Sunday, but next Sunday, so Sunday week, that would be the 13th. I will be streaming then because there's Ad on London. I, but yeah, basically. Next stream is probably going to be Wednesday. It's going to be saying goodbye to the South London project. It's probably going to just be a half an hour stream. And we'll be doing Route 3. Then obviously Thursday we're going to be doing our first look at our Ad on London. And then Friday, Saturday, Sunday of that week. Hopefully we'll be doing some Ad on London streams as well. That's kind of the plan. But yeah, so basically I don't plan to be live until next uh, Sunday basically. Oh, next Wednesday, sorry. What am I talking about? Wednesday. Unless I decide to stream tomorrow on Sunday, but I don't know, I don't know. Last thing, I haven't tested Sundays actually, so I'll be interested just to see what the views are like on Saturdays and Sundays, because I don't really stream on the weekends. If I stream on the Saturdays, usually in the mor I think I did it in the morning once or twice, and then did it in the like late afternoon. I need to try it in the evening, see how it is, because I know probably more people are free then, rather than the weekday stuff I tend to do. But yeah. That's kind of it. What games would you like to see? What add-ons would you like to see for Armsy 2 and stream-wise? That's the thing. What, what would we like to see for streams? I know Tramsim is not really something that probably will interest most people at this point because it's pretty much the same thing over and over again. Uh, but yeah, Armsy 2-wise, what do we want to see? I know we really wanted to see Skuntorp, but I really can't stand Skuntorp, I'm not going to lie. It's not, it's not my favourite map. Oh, there's some flickering textures. Kevin Lichman, and you know if any of you know him, that's his favorite uh, thing. They see me flickering, yeah. I'll also put this car like, yeah. I think I'm pushing my GPU. Better give it a listen, actually. Let's just take a listen. Oh, that is not good. Yeah, the GPU fan is quite loud. It's being worked all right. Adam London, exactly. Yeah. So pretty much, you're gonna have five streams of London. Have TSLP as well. Someone suggested to do that. Uh, yeah, this game is very demanding on my GPU as well, so I don't want to don't want to be killing the GPU. Vienna. <laughs> the only thing is I don't have the Vienna DLC. And there's no way I'm paying for that. The Vienna DLC is like, in terms of like, I think it's the worst value DLC for MC2 because it only offers one route and one bus, and it's 20 quid, and the bus line is like 25 minutes. There's no even depot. So yeah, unfortunately, I don't have the Vienna DLC, and I don't have. I have no intention of getting it. It's it's just too overpriced, especially the fact that it's Vienna one and two. So now nah, that's unfortunately not possible. Do you have Vienna yourself? You're interested to see it on your channel. Like it looks like a good map, but it's just I think it's one of those maps you play once and you forget about it. Uh, dude, I don't really fancy spending twenty quid for like twenty minutes entertainment. But yeah, there's a lot of DLCs coming out for Armstrong 2, like there's actually, I think like this month has been about 10. I have another news video coming out on Monday, it's going to talk about all that, but today, out of nowhere, the Eris Plus pack was released, which caught me by surprise, because it wasn't even the Steam page, it was coming soon. But the views for it don't seem to be great, so actually, let's see now. As you can see, now the signals, are I want to see if this actually works now, the automatic signals, because it's saying turn left. Okay, that doesn't work, never mind. Yeah, so... The reason we did that is because I think they said they fixed the automatic signal so they work now, it actually turns the tram, but it doesn't seem to be the case. I think you have to use the rod. Which will take us <laughs> a fair while to get. Do I, ah, is that the tram line? I think they have the bus and the tram lines in like the 1 to 10 numbers. Oh, watch yourself. Oi, 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 oi! Listen, if you want to do street performing and dancing, do it in your house. I don't get paid to watch this crap. Yeah, obviously now we're pretending that we are actually getting paid as a challenge driver. <laughs> yeah, so now I'm just going to... If you have the uh, the track switch unlocked, now what you can do is you can switch the track and you can use that turning circle, which is quite cool. We do want to try that out, but even level 2 is still a bit restrictive. We want to get as close as possible. What's with these passengers dancing? Now, I don't know what story the TSB thing is. Like, sometimes it comes up white, sometimes it comes up green. I prefer consistency, but... And away we go. Let's 
So I keep pressing the wrong thing, I keep uh, knocking off the indicator to take this to the doors. So I, know it's, uh, I played this like last week for a few minutes because I was like, I need to get TSP quickly because so I was doing the Charm Sim uh, challenges because they give you more points. And I was like, oh wait, that's TCP, which is Charm cha Sim challenges points, where TSP is Charm Sim points. But confusing because basically they use Charm Sim as one word in TCP and two words in TSP. What's up with these passages? Let's look at my settings. I think I'm posting my GPU. I think that's why. Yeah, I, I, I'm still, uh, I'm still, uh, I still haven't bought the GPU of an internet to buy for a while now. Connections to airport bus. Oh, shut up. Graphics. Texture quality. Very high, very low. Yeah, I mean, that all seems fine. Maybe I should put the other thing to very low, but... Just the rest does it. We'll push this GPU, we'll, we'll push it we'll push it to the max, eh? I mean I have the backup, I have my old one, the AMD 77H, whatever it was. Cause yeah, now that I don't have flights and I don't really need a fancy GPU anyway. I was hoping we'd go into the stay off for uh, Black Friday but it didn't. And so if even if it goes on stay off for the Christmas sale, it'll probably be a metallic reduction. And I'm not willing to risk like 50 quid on the games uh, on in, on CD keys. So not really trust instant gaming. And the CD keys is like you know that they just buy the keys from uh, uh, other regions, uh, cheaper, lower lower cost countries in terms of prices, because uh, they don't have like external sellers. It's all done by them, so you can't got that guarantee there. Okay, we need to get going. We've been how long have we been driving? This feels like it's been ages. Yeah, 20, 40 minutes nearly. That's the thing, like, if you don't stop at all, this only takes like 10 minutes, and then it's like 50 minutes if you do. Oh, yeah, we're not stopping here, sorry. Yeah, so there are still some bugs going around. Aye, oi, oi, oi. Yeah, collision with the per. Okay. There's another thing they fixed. So now it's actually in. um. English before it was collision mit Mensch and then attention, so it was like half English, half German. Understand, okay. Um, it's not, it's not great English there. Understand, it's like, okay, oh yeah. I mean, I guess it works, but like when I say understand, it's probably better to say like understood. I don't know. Being very picky here, but yeah. Uh, 36 uh, retail price, yeah, I got to be picky. Okay, maybe it's 35 quid. Keep saying it's 36 quid when it's 35. No, is this tram just... Is he just ditched the tram there? Can you move? Here, yeah, listen. You may want to sleep on your tram, but I want to get her uh, going. Let's go. That's right. Now, now we're going to be stuck behind this tram. I'm very tempted just to crash into it so then it disappear off the tracks. The back of these trams looks a lot like a front, so I don't know. It's I don't really like the back of these charms because the way that the way they are made in real life, I'm guessing it's the same as real life. It kind of looks like the front of a charm as well. Obviously, like if it's some charms have the a, a pendle, so pendle basically means there's a ca driving car on both sides. But this isn't the pendle, and the lights are on as well. I don't know. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Are oh, we gonna block the junction? Whoops. We are going to be blocking the junction. <laughs> How to piss off the drivers in Vienna. It's another day in Champsen. No passengers on it though. Interestingly enough. And then watch all the passengers going on this champ for some reason. That's says Charm Trio 1. I much prefer to Charm Trio 4. That should be 10. 9, are you joking me? It's literally perfect. It's barely touching it. Maybe it's because the phone's sticking out a bit. Oh well. You can have your 1 TSP, sure. I'll let you away with this. What does this say? 
Einbahn ausgehen. Ausgehen, oh, ausgehen. Du, 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 du. Oh, very courteous. Don't let the no, don't let the public transport you. Just drive ahead. Oh wait, just because you drive a BMW doesn't mean you get to be an arse. Oh, Mercedes. Sorry, that, I don't know why I said. I know, I, I think for us that's a Mercedes, and I don't know why I said BMW. Oh, I'm this tram will be continuing whether the signal goes to the stop one. You hear that like hesitant, the, like echo in the voice of the. Okay, let's let's go give out to this driver. Let's tell him that he needs to up the. Oh, never mind. That's not going to give me TSP if I do that. Never mind. Let's talk to the passengers. Good morning. How are you today? How is life? Are you enjoying the tram ride? Hello, sir. How are you today? Okay. How are you today? Yeah, I, I see this. This this must be one of those trams you see in a horror film. Everyone's like, everyone's just uh, doesn't look like they're real. Usually, yeah, usually the 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 inaccuracies kind of get fixed uh, with the um, ba -ba -ba. they get fixed with the basically the more you, the more you increase the graphics, the better it gets. So it, it, like it just improves the visual quality of the human. <laughs> oh, this is very risky. Five minutes. We're five minutes early. Ah, we just missed our TSP. No TSP. Oh well. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Jesus, this timetable is very kind of uh, lenient then. Because you're just thinking. Like, if we're five minutes early, it's only taking us like 40 minutes. Yeah. So I think this was like a five minute frequency. Radetzky Platz. Umsteigen zu O. In ah, there's the inside of the shop. Oh. Wait, they didn't got the person there, but the person seems to be expanded by like twice as much. Like, they seem to have like extruded them. Yeah, I think I need to call it the time, so it doesn't seem to be too popular on the channel, so... Yeah, usually this gets, like, uh, more views in the, uh, after the thing, because usually, like... Because it's a new update, people are interested to see what's in it, so it usually gets, like, a few more views, like, gets, like, double, triple, or sometimes will triple the views it does when actually streaming, so that's kind of why I do them. I just do them as a live show, because it's easy to do them as a video. Like, the algorithm works differently as well, for live streams and uh, normal uploads. Almost finished, anyway. Yeah, that's the thing. But anyway, we're not, obviously too long. We're gonna have very little time to do charms anyway. Probably just do a short little video showcasing the AI charms because there's no need to be doing a 50 minute journey for that. And like, yeah, the fact that they lowered down the requirements to get the level two kind of uh, to get the uh, the track switch rod kind of motivated me to do this. But at the same time, like, can I do like two, three hours of this? Yeah. That's the thing. I like charms, but like, but not honestly, like. It's tra like even the longitude too. Like the tram lines are kind of like once or twice the max, and that's all. That's it. Like kind of just starts to feel the same. Maybe if we add in some rain. The only thing about this is the sky isn't great, and the weather effects aren't great. Like the sky just looks very kind of two-dimensional. Well, it is two-dimensional. It, it's cr like the longitude sky is much better. I'm not saying something. Yeah, there you go. There's your longitude two AI. Oh, disappears. So it looks like Omsi 2 more and more. <laughs> That's the first time I see the AI disappear here like that. But yeah. As I said, we are pushing my uh, GPU here. So, fairness. Technically, I shouldn't be able to run this game with a 2GB RAM GPU. But everyone's just about, as you can see, the issues are like mainly with the way the AI behaves. So, technically, like, I guess, the, in a sense, the minimum requirements means a playable experience, including the fact that uh, it has to be, you know. You don't have this kind of 
issues with air, but that's a cool building with the trees on top. Oh, 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 that was close. These are things, they have the car brands for someone not fall. Oh, there's a Mercedes. Oh, oh, I think that's what they did. They just flipped them upside down. So there's a Mercedes logos upside down. Say so that's upside down. There's the light bulb flickering. There's the UK flag. Ah, Austria. Or as they say in German, Österreich. Interesting that's an A there if they use German because with German it's an U O with an umlaut. So I don't know why that's the case. Or maybe unless they just use the A because again for copyright infringement reasons. I just want to get a flight stick joystick for this, but I was reading like the 30 pound one. Didn't have the greatest of reviews. I'm not sure if you can use it. I need to figure out how to configure a gamepad with this. Gouverneur Supermarkt. Ende. Ende um. Schneider. Oh, geez, that's such a German word. Very long. Uh, a mouthful. So, Ende um. Um. Schneiderei. Diamond and Herchen textile und leather. So, that's like a. It's like a tailor, basically. We will not wait for this traffic light. Wir werden für die rote Ampel nicht warten. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, if I leave, if I go AFK now, I'll just leave this one. It's gonna hit the black city in front of us. But we're almost there. Uh, this is one of my favorite part of the route here because it's very. This is a very photogenic uh, little spot. Okay. Ah, uh, this is yeah. Oh, why is that? Oh, shoot, shoot, we're gonna hit the tramp. Good thing I know it's done in time. Move! What are these passengers doing, literally? Are they, are they for real? <laughs> they take the tram, so instead of having to walk through the park, they just get the tram into the park. The level of laziness is unreal. I remember that happened was like, someone was taking, going, they're in the city centre, they're getting the bus like the next stop, and, and they're like paying too quick for the tram. I was like, ah, here, you're quite lazy now, aren't you? <laughs> I was like in a kind of like joking, joking manner, but yeah. For passengers to take offense if I'm funny as well. Okay, so. There we go. It's the final run. Our next stop will be the last stop. So now, if any of you have happy birthdays, I'll just post in the Discord a screenshot of the of the uh, of the tram saying happy birthday. I'm gonna do that in Omsi too, but it just takes so long with Omsi to load it up and then write it in. So I was like, eh. This is a nice terminal. So I really like this terminal. These tram terminals are nice. That are in the parks are really, really nice. They have these in a few cities as well. They have one in like, Sofia and Bulgaria. I think they have one in Warsaw, in Warsaw and Poland. Or maybe they don't in Warsaw. No, they don't. Ah, hello, Artful. Welcome to the stream. How is the new update? So, in a nutshell, uh, Artful, uh, uh, basically, the new update is pretty cool. So, I'm just going to show you now. The IBIS works. So, once we get to the last stop, which is literally in, two, it's in one minute away, you can change the destination. So now the IBIS works. You can play announcements. You can change the display. So the display up front. I'll show you how that works. And there's also, uh, if you know the rod for the tram switch, or the track switch, that allows you to switch. Oh shoot! So there's a track switch that. Oh oh oh! There's a track switch that lets you change the uh, track. So it basically, just means that you can switch the track and you can deviate from your route. Uh, so that used to be level. In basically need to be level. F oh whoa! So you need to, you still need need to have level three, which is ten thousand TSP to be used. That now it's level two, which is five thousand TSP. Uh, apart from that, that's really it in the update. There's my, there's a few bug fixes, but yeah, they're kind of like that stuff. But basically, this is the IBIS. It's fairly easy to use. If you go into Ziel, this means destination in German, you can change all these, so we can do this, you click here, Eing, instead of having to do it, autom uh, instead of it doing it automatically, you can change it, sorry. So, we go here, Stefan Fadinger Platz, and you have to click this. 
Why is this not working? It was working before. When I click the thing to get the rolls on the Discord, it does not give the roll. Don't. Oh, you... oh, really? I need to figure out. Maybe it's because it's a. I'm not... I need to check the permissions. Maybe I disabled reacting. I need to take a look. I'll take a look now once I finish the stream, which will be in like two minutes. Ah, sorry. This is so you click this and this changes it. So if you click this here, now you're gonna see it showing Carol plots, uh, or you can go again to seal and basically just some cool stuff as well. You have Borussia, which is again short run. You also have Happy Birthday. You have Leo. I don't know what Leo means. This means empty. So you can do this as well. Yes, because charms have uh, IBUS. Okay, makes sense. <laughs> SMH. I'm not sure if it's called IBUS because that's what people on the Discord, the charms in Discord, were calling it. Maybe it's not IBUS. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, they call it the ITCS, I think, which is the... in. Oh, yeah, something like that. Let, let's have it seal back to just uh, what it was. Sonderzug, out of service, bitte nicht einsteigen, please don't get on. Wiener Linien, Fahrschule. Oh, this, this is a cool one. So this is like a... This is now a driving school. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just thinking because like if someone's probably thinking, oh yeah, transport enthusiast needs to go to that. Uh, happy birthday! I'll oh, just go to some good Yeah, that's that's really it. So it's really cool. Just adds that extra bit, but that's the update basically in a nutshell. Uh, I have the information in the Discord as well. If you go into the Champs and use Champ, it's all there. For the uh, yeah, or it's also in the Champs of Discord. iBus is for London. Oh, could be. It's very well could be. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm not sure if they actually have these in real life. I do wonder if they have the happy birthday in real life. It seems a bit of odd to have in real life. But anyway, folks, that's really it for now. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel. And then you can stay on top with all the Tramp Sim and OMC2 and other simulation news. Uh, as well, do join the Discord. I post all the information about these updates there as well. Uh, this game is starting to shape out quite nicely. With every, uh, with every update, there is some more stuff. There's... It's getting better and better, so, you know, fair play to developers, even though the game is overpriced, uh, at least they are dedicated to the game, and at least they are working on just uh, improving it as well. She has just updated mine. No worries, Artful, yeah? Uh, pretty much, yeah, make one of the update, and make sure to get the level, um, le make sure to get 5,000 TSP, then you can unlock the lever. I haven't unlocked the track switch yet, but I'll just the track switch, I'll just show you quickly where it's meant to be. Once you unlock it, it's right here. But as you can see, if I click now, it's going to tell me reach level 2 to use the operation rod. But yeah, that's it. Yeah, thanks everyone for watching. Until next time. Actually, let's go back on the tram. Let's go back. Let's go back. We'll end it inside the tram. Okay, okay.